Hello everybody, this is Simon with Let's Play Sonic 2006. So, Silver has found himself in the city and with an unlikely ally, so I guess we're going to look for Sonic now, without him really knowing that Sonic's the Iblis trigger, but I mean, I guess he's just easily distracted and extremely bad at saying no. This is one of these intermission segments that um, are actually reasonably paced, and uh, it's again breadcrumbed, so you can ask all of the people with the red exclamation marks, and um, you will find your way relatively easily. And again, what I appreciate about this game is that you do not actually have to do this. This is not an RPG where you have to talk to everyone to set the correct flags. We can, if we want to, go directly to Lord Reaches, who would give us then permission after doing a certain task, and uh, solve the issue immediately. But if we are not able to find him quickly, because maybe we are still getting lost in Soliana, which is bigger than it really needs to be, um, then here is the hint what you can do, look for a gondolier and ask them, which is nice. But we can also keep going in this direction and ask that guy. And if we know how the town works from Sonic's story, then it's a little hint to go towards where the forest gate is. But of course I'm going to follow the breadcrumb trail just to show off how it works and um, let's just ignore this real quick. Must be a side effect from the proximity of the altar of flame, uh, which it took me quite a while to get, but this is the thing in the intro card scene, you know, it, because it's not burning and it is currently daytime and it's not fireworks going on, but this is the giant stage uh, where Elise is uh, shipping towards. Anyway, we can desecrate it completely using silver, which is one of the fun parts of his, but uh, most of the time, to be quite honest, uh, running around as silver in the town is, is really boring and we're going to see more of the struggle uh, that presents in the next video but there is a, a little bit of a way to get around it but most of the time he's just too slow um, everything okay Amy that keeps happening but uh, let's just ignore it shall we anyway you might see the issue present right here there is actually something that is quite annoying there was originally apparently that's still in the game files you could enable it the code um, an upgrade plan for silver so that he would just move quicker but they took it out and I don't know why it sucks maybe it broke something but it's still like he is just too slow for this game for these interstitial segments where you're just walking around because his walking is not much uh, you know it's just um... anyway hi doggy I'm going to psychically pet you because I can't do it otherwise just just trust me he did it this is Lord Reaches oh no we, we just came from the jungle, you know, so um, it's actually quite easy to get there. And let, let's not just, let's not apply logic to here. So this is the first town mission for Silver, which is mandatory. And it's a bit of a doozy because, you know, there's just a lot of enemies. And uh, Silver is not that good at fighting lots of enemies right now. There is an upgrade you can get, which will make this vastly easier and far 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 easier to get an S rank in but I'm stubborn so of course I got it now. This is not the S rank run. Um, this is basically my first attempt so I'm showing off a little bit of a few things that can happen that can go wrong. I have a surprisingly large hitbox on the stun here. Didn't expect to stun more enemies at once but sometimes it can happen if they're clustered up enough. Um, and something else that's quite fun which we're going to see in a bit and that is that if you do kill a bunch of enemies at once, it doesn't have to be with the leader enemy, but that helps a lot of course, then you can in fact get a combo. It's going to happen in a second where uh, I will get 600 radical or something points for killing a lot of enemies at once. Which you can't deliberately do in this mission, but uh, it's a bit hard and in the S rank run we're not going to see it, so I'm also glad that I took this and see. And I just, this is not a leader enemy, it, I, I just destroyed a bunch of them with his corpse somehow, I don't quite know how to replicate this, but it does work. This is also an opportunity to see, kill these guys with his corpse. Um, it's an opportunity to show off that the slap can work in your favor, kind of. Maybe. You really have to know what the hitboxes of the enemies actually are. In this case, for the two-legged robots, if you get close enough to them, you can slap away their leg. Leg. They will fall down. And then you can hit the cockpit or the, the body or something. So you have to reposition yourself, which is what I did. They worked out. And I almost got an A rank. The 600 points from the combo definitely helped. But... Um, we are going to redo this in a second, shall we? Because I do want to show off the S rank. However, that also means that we always restart here, which is annoying. So let's skip 
ha, a little bit of this and uh, go directly to reward reaches. So what am I doing here? Is this like a frame perfect input every time? No, it's very easy. You just hold the action button. That's all you have to do. Um, there is a similar trick for Sonic, which I might show off at some point, but you know, it just skips on the water. Um, and uh, the magic is basically that uh, he wants to perform the slap animation, but he can't because he's not on solid ground. And so he's just doing this weird and awkward dance. And this means that when we do reach solid ground, there's the slap animation. Now the game is satisfied, but it can't play the drowning animation while it's still waiting for the slap animation to finish. I think um, that this is the explanation. Um, it's just really stupid, but hey, it allows us to jump over any uh, body of water for as long as we want. So that's nice. We just can't jump any higher. That's the biggest problem. Anyway, let's see if we can't do this a little bit more efficiently, shall we? So what I recommend to S-Rank this using Silver's normal abilities is to try and throw these spike balls so that they hit groups of enemies because they can semi-pierce through them. But as you could just see, if they do physics off of enemies then it doesn't quite work at all. But they can shotgun like this in the correct direction but it didn't shoot in the correct direction. And you know what, this is just a mess overall. You really, really want to wait for the upgrade that allows you to actually be efficient as Silver. What you can do, however, and which I always recommend if you have the opportunity, is to pick up a lot of individual bullets and shoot them in a bit of a staggered way so that the game actually realizes, oh, I just killed this first enemy so I can retarget to the next one. If you fire them rapid fire, they will all go to the same target and this will not do you any good because this target will be dead after the first missile. Unless, of course, it's an enemy with a bigger health bar, like this one here, where you can't um, throw as many missiles as you want. Here we can see the limitations of a slap. There we go. This is the hitbox for the cockpit. And then you can use one enemy to kill another enemy, which is cool enough. Would be great if it worked more often. But for example, with the big robot corpses, it, it never works. You just can't hit enemies with them. They just fall into the ground and disappear immediately. It's a bit sad. Anyway, this is just a little bit of a better performance, but you could see a few more efficient moves here. So this is basically what you have to do if you want to. You can follow this as a guide, but uh, you, you know you don't have to. Um, as I said, there is an upgrade later on. I can tell you what it does. It just makes a gigantic stun AoE around Silver and it's absolutely tailor-made for situations like this. You can just stun all of the enemies, pick them up all at once and kill them in one fell swoop. It's super, super simple. Very nice. Um, so if you want to have an S rank on all of Silver's missions, just, just redo them at some later point. And you're not missing out on much if you don't S rank them immediately, because as I've also said before, I think, um, Silver's upgrades are extremely sparse. We bought half of them, I think, and we will not run out of money for them. It's not like where in Sonic I had to really make sure that most of my S ranks were on point and early on so that I could show off everything. Silver will be able to afford everything. It doesn't matter which ranks you get. Anyway, here's the pass, uh, gentlemen. Uh, and um, here you can also see it and uh, next time we can go to Dusty Desert. This is not true. Next time we're going to look at town missions, but I digress. Um, so before I show off something else interesting, um, why don't you help me get that one extra subscriber to reach 1000, dating myself even more, but that would be nice, wouldn't it? Anyway, there is an extra voice line that plays here, which is fun, if you die after you um, play the first part of the mission. It's unlikely, but you can always jump into water. Um, and I suspect that I made a, quite a lot of these to like update you on the actual current situation. Um, but... Um, Many people won't see them and I will not hunt for all of them, but there is surprising effort put into that. Anyway, you can just glitch under this. No no um, sliding needed. That's great, isn't it? Anyway, why did I do this? To get a few of these boxes out. Can you go back? Ah, a little bit. And ah, the camera does weird things, so nah, not really. But uh, why did I want to get the box out? Well, because, you see, doing this town mission might be a little bit annoying and you might not want to do it. Um, I don't know if this doing this will screw you over in the long term because then Lord Regis might at some point vanish and not off the town mission anymore and then you can't do it. But what you can do is use this box and squeeze yourself into the top of this doorway and get into the building like this. Hi Amy, I'm, I'm glad that you're struggling and, and trying to keep up but you see what this does. We are now inside this building and we can just go to Dusty Desert and just to prove that this 
absolutely works just because the two bozos are in front of the door the cutscene plays normally the level loads normally and we are in dusty desert fun isn't it thank you very much for your attention <laughs>